Hey guys, I will show you several options to repair boot, boot up problems in Windows 7. Some of these steps may also work with Windows Vista. But before I give you the itemized option, I would like to emphasize with you to create Windows 7 system repair disk. I must admit that I'm a bit guilty of not creating this disk myself because uh, recently my computer had a boot up problem and I had a hard time restoring to operational state and this lead, led me to create this video for my viewers information. Although I'm aware of Windows 7 advanced boot option by pressing you know, the F8 key before the uh, starting window prompt appears but I guess the function the you know the function keys on my uh, notebook or in my computer especially the F8 key is not working during the time of my troubleshooting if this had happened to you then your best option is to boot from either the installation DVD that came when you bought the machine or the uh, system repair disk but please know nowadays most of the computers do not have installation DVDs included but uh, rather the systems were pre-installed um, so it's it's always a good idea to plan ahead by creating system repair disk if you already have the installation DVD or system repair disk then you may just want to skip the part where I teach how to create the system disk. Um, to create a Windows 7 system repair disk, simply click the startup icon, click the all programs, and then the, under the maintenance uh, folder, <coughs> I'm sorry guys, I have a problem with my voice right now. Mm. And uh, click uh, create system repair disk okay you have to provide a blank DVD or a blank CD so that you can create the disk I mean I just inserted the uh, DVD and then I have to click this create disk okay click OK and then it's done now we will try to use it I have to stop this in the earlier part of the video I showed you how to trigger or how to enable the advanced boot option and that is to press F8 before the window uh, starts to load if for some reason you cannot go to this uh, option here and um, maybe you have an issue with your uh, F8 button so your next step is to use the uh, system recovery disk make sure that you can boot from the disk if this window shows up here or if this display shows up that means you can just press any key to boot from the system recovery disk if you cannot if you don't have this option and uh, for some reason your system just uh, goes to uh, windows proper that means the optical drive is not your first uh, boot option what you can do is uh, press F12 uh, in most laptops or in most uh, computers and that's where you can boot from several options okay guys just click next here there may be some other op options or pop-up menu before this but those are self-explanatory so click next 
okay the next option I'm showing you what is the actual display on my uh, screen there are two options here one that says use recovery tools that can help fix problems you have to choose that option there's a second one underneath here that says restore your computer using an, uh, an image or ISO that you created earlier we're gonna deal with this uh, option in a separate video but for the meantime just click the first option and then the operating system is Windows 7 click next until you get to this option if you notice there are five options here first one is the startup repair this option will uh, repair the system automatically and uh, fix the problems that prevents Windows from starting up what it does it is that it finds uh, the uh, system which is the operating uh, Windows 7 on your hard drive and it will try to rebuild the startup sequence so that Windows will be accessible again in most cases this is all that's needed just hit restart once a once it's finished and your system will be restored to normal uh, order the second option which is the system restore uh, this allows you to revert your PC to a working condition by undoing uh, changes uh, with installing software or drivers uh, whenever something makes a significant change in your system usually Windows creates a restore point saving the state of your PC so that uh, changes can be rolled back if necessary example uh, a restore point is made whenever you installed a new uh, application usually when you launch the uh, system restore Windows will suggest to roll back to the most uh, recent restore point if you uh, want to know more details uh, what changes will be reserved then just click uh, scan for affected uh, programs uh, after you uh, launch the uh, the program uh, I mean the uh, system restore then you will find uh, what drivers or software will be removed well the third option is uh, system image recovery uh, this is a bit drastic approach um, because what it does is it reloads the copy of your system at a certain time which you have created uh, the copy or the working system meaning some of the files that you have created or installed after the specific time will be deleted I would suggest this will be one of the last option you may want to consider uh, the fourth option is Windows memory diagnostics um, this is one of the most important tools uh, as it checks the normal operation or condition of your RAM or memory card if your system suddenly stops working without you making any changes then it is possible that there's a problem with your PC memory I would suggest use this option to check the health condition of your memory it might be that it's time for you to replace them the fifth option which is a command prompt uh, may require a bit of uh, technical know-how but I will just leave you with two commands that are very crucial especially when you want to restore the uh, system to its uh, normal state the two commands are boot rack space forward slash fix MVR followed by boot rack space forward slash rebuild BCD so all you have to do is first open the command prompt and uh, type in first the boot rack space forward slash fix MVR and hit enter and then type in boot rack forward slash I'm sorry space forward slash rebuild BCD these two commands 
will write Windows startup code to your hard drive and just might get your PC working again. Okay guys, that sums up the use of the system repair disk. If you notice, I have not discussed about the advanced boot option where you press the F8 as I have uh, discussed earlier because I reserve another video solely for that. As I told you earlier, uh, it needs some technical knowledge. Before I conclude this video, I would like to leave you with a very good tip on how to prevent catastrophic crash on your important files. Well, we would assume that the system repair we did earlier or the system recovery have repaired your startup woos and uh, startup issues and that's one thing but another important thing to consider is that you need to separate your system files from your data files because if your system files crash then it is just easy to restore it even with the use of the factory system recovery which uh, will eventually erase any files in the partition that you're going to install the factory preloaded system and programs so having said this if your system and data files such as your very important docs your photos and your projects are in just one partition then most likely you have to suffer the effect of data loss when you uh, recover the uh, system on that uh, particular partition but you need to do something now while still you can I have a very good video on why we need to partition our hard drive you can watch it in my channel or better yet you can go to my tech blog at uh, www.ifixiteasy.com again that's ifixiteasy.com and look for um, how to partition a hard drive or uh, why we need to partition uh, the hard drive because I have a trial download link about a Yomi partition assistant that I would highly recommend. Um, I hope I have imparted another good information but until next video thank you so much for watching. Goodbye guys.